Welcome to NHNHD. Today I want to talk about IPM. IPM we can call is Integrated Pest Management. Integrated Pest Management is one of the way to achieve the sustainable oil palm industry. It can reduce the dependency of pesticide and the using of chemical in controlling the pest. And also IPM can reduce and prevent us from reaching the economic injury level or EIL. Integrated Pest Management or IPM can be defined as a combination of various techniques that are combined together in controlling the pest and disease. So the technique is come from the cultural methods, mechanical methods, physical and chemical biological methods. Integrated pest management has four principles. It is first principle is depending on knowledge and the second principle is to reaching the long term objective. Third principle is to control not to eradicate and the last principle is to list determinants to agro ecosystem for first principle long term objective is to uh, maintain the safety to the environment to the soil conservation to the safety of human and animals and the second is to control not to eradicate to control not to eradicate is for pests or uh, for pests or insects, which is we need to maintain the ecosystem and we cannot to eradicate all the species of pests or insects. And the third is depending on the knowledge. Depending on the knowledge is when we need to apply the integrated pest management. We need to know the life cycle of insect or pest or the disease, the life cycle, their both biological and their resistance or effectiveness of IPM to the pest or disease. And the last one is the least disturbance to an agro ecosystem. The least disturbance is when we grow the crop, we need to minimize the disturbance to the ecosystem uh, especially for agro ecosystem integrated pest management or IPM has five steps we need to implement which is first monitoring and second identification and third is assessment fourth is implementation and the last one is evaluation for monitoring monitoring is we need to visit into the field and do the inspections towards the attack or the population of insect or disease whether they have their appearance or no and from this monitoring we can know their population of pests or their species or their attack what is severe or not uh, and from this step we can ready for the next step for integrated pest management or IPM second step is identification identification is where we need to do the chances we need to do the chances before we done the IPM in the field. The chances we will base on the economic threshold level or ETHL, ETL, the economic threshold level. When, when uh, the population of pests or disease are not over the economic threshold level, we, we can implement the IPM in the field because why? Why? Because the if we over the limit of economic threshold level, the cost in controlling the pest and disease will more than 
profit and will become becoming losses to the company so after we do the identifications we do the assessment the assessment is we get we gather the information from the chances and we identify what 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 types of species of insect or pest or disease that have in the fields and we gather the information what technique suitable to controlling them for implementation is after we gather the information we choose the best one to the best one practice that we need to implement and at this step we will implement it in the field so after implement actually uh, surely we need to we need to evaluate how success the IPM in controlling the pest and easy in the earlier video I have I have talked about the definition of IPM right the IPM is the integrated from the various techniques which include the cultural, mechanical and physical, bio biological and chemical. So uh, the video after this will show more about the cultural definition of cultural methods, mechanical and physical methods, biological methods and chemical me methods. Let's we see the video. Cultural method cultural control is defined as manipulation of cultural practices so as to destroy or to prevent the insects and disease from causing injury to plants. It is inexpensive preventive method through simple modifications of pests environment and more effective if employed after acquiring or through knowledge of the life history and habits of a pest. Example of cultural control applied in oil palm plantations such as soil mounding. Soil mounding is technique for control the basal stem rot disease. It is just for prolong the lifespan of infected oil palm. Good soil preparation also can be cultural practices in IPM. Example of good soil preparation such as plowing and harrowing, chipping and shredding and pulverization. Plowing and harrowing important in controlling basal stem rot because it can expose the soil which content root of Ganoderma bononens. When they're being exposed this fungi will die because of sunlight exposure. Chipping and shredding is important to control the rhinoceros beetle. When the old oil palm was chipped and shredded, it will not be breeding site for them and also can be as biocompost a source of nutrient for the new planted oil palm. The chipped and shredded residue will be placed in close end conservation trench. The pulverization is more better because it will pulverize the felling tree into the dust. This will completely destroy the place for rhinoceros beetle to breed. Biological control. Biological control will use natural enemies in the form of parasites, predators and pathogen to control unwanted organism like insect pest or pathogen that cause the disease. Parasites hoid commonly used by oil palm plantation sectors such as taconids, braconids, ignumenids, reduovids, and pentatomid. Parasites hoid is insect that lay their eggs on or in the body of an insect host which is then used as a food for developing larvae. The host is ultimately killed. This parasitoid normally used for controlling nettle caterpillar and bagworm. We need to attract them for encouraging them breeding in the oil palm field. They usually attract a turner or subalata antigon on leptopis, casia cobanensis and others. This plant are called beneficial plant. The barnal also usually used for controlling rats. It is predator for rats which use for controlling them. 
the owl are used because its majority diet is rats and this barn owl will be placed in the field with the ratio 1 breeding unit for 10 hectare. The barn owl also not dangerous to human. Mechanical and physical control. Mechanical and physical control is method that use of hands-on techniques, as well as simple equipment devices and natural ingredients that provide a protective barrier between crop and insects. Example of this method are application of sticky traps, insects netting and hand picking pest off plants. This method usually used for census or observe the population of insect in the field and observe the species. The last method is chemical control. Chemical control is method in controlling pests population by means of chemical compounds such as insecticides, fungicide, pheromones, baits and attractants. The example of insecticide used are trichlorphan, osmamidin, endosulfan and carbofurin. It can provide effective pest control but only to be used as a last option. In line with the objectives of IPM which reducing the chemical use. Okay, you all have understand about the methods, all the four methods right? The IPM one is cultural, mechanical and physical and biological so for the conclusions in IPM there have many practices that have been implemented in the field which each method four methods have their drawbacks for that because of that we need to apply for the for all the all the various techniques to cover the drawbacks of each method so we need to integrate it, combine, combine the, all the methods to get uh, more success in controlling the pest and disease. To get the more result, success result in controlling it. And to prevent it from reaching the economic injury levels. And with that, thanks for watching and thank you.